Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. And again, my condolences if you happen to be a White Sox fan. It is me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and we are here again to take a look at the Chicago White Sox. And today we're going to do a historical perspective on how bad they really are. Right now, as it stands, the White Sox are 15 and 48 and last place in the AL Central Division. They've lost 14 games straight, dating back to May 22nd. And the 14-game losing streak is one loss more in a row than the franchise record. They had previously lost 13 straight at one point in their past, and they managed to have eclipsed even that. They are 10-22 and 22 at home, and an abysmal... Even worse, 5-26 and 26 on the road. Now, let's take a look at some other notably terrible teams in Major League Baseball history, and we will look at the winning percentages. The 1962 Mets, which is the team I've been comparing them to uh, you know, previously, and probably wrongly, had a 250 winning percentage. They were 40 and 120. The 2003 Tigers were 43 and 119 with a 361 winning percentage. The 1916 Philadelphia A's were 36 and 117 for a 235 winning percentage. The 1904 Washington Senators were 38 and 113 and had a 252 winning percentage. And the 1919 Philadelphia A's were 36 and 104 and had a 257 winning percentage. The Sox currently have a 238 winning percentage, and as you can see by the note at the end of the screen, that would only be better than the 1916 A's on this list, and it's only barely better. Quite likely, if they lose their next game, to Boston, they are playing Boston now, and by the way, they got beat like 14 to two to Boston um, on uh, June 6th. Then you know, it, they'll have a worse winning percentage than every team on this list. They uh, have a negative 152 run differential after only 63 games, so that's a negative 2.4 runs per game played. Uh, average. They're batting only 217 as a team and with 47 home runs in 63 games, which is horrible in this day and age. Um, they have a 494 team earned run average, and they've only thrown out 11 of 58 opposing base runners. So you can see it's bad. They're terrible. And they just keep getting worse. It's I don't know where the end is. I don't know where we can say, oh, yeah, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And now there's even talk that they're going to trade one of their best pitchers, Garrett Crochet. Uh, the Padres are apparently interested in him. The Phillies might be interested in him. Um, I've heard that. I don't know if those are just rumors or what the deal is. I'm sure there are other teams that are interested in him. But he's, you know, he's got some years of control still, I think. And, you know, I don't know that you could take a bright spot on a terrible team like this and trade it away. Because, um, you know, I don't, I, I don't know that that makes sense. Um, but if they're not going to be ready, and it looks like this team is not going to be a winning team for at least three or four years. At least three or four years. Maybe five could be five. I mean, this is worse than, you remember when Houston was bad, and they were rebuilding, and they were terrible, and everybody was, you know, talking about how terrible they were, and that they were tanking. The White Sox aren't even tanking. It's just that the talent that they have, and I use the term talent loosely, is just not good. And so they really are not that good of a team. Um, so... I don't know what we're going to say about that. It's, uh, you know. So anyway, uh, that's how bad they are. I just wanted to give another update. 
and talk about my terrible, terrible White Sox again and how bad they really are. But that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.